Hi friends, today we'll be talking about a condition called vaginismus, a condition which results in significant interpersonal problems and marital discord. And what all newer options we have for its treatment will all be discussing. I'm Dr. Deepthi Asthana, Senior Gynecologist in Fortis Hospital Gurugram and Director of Colosa Clinic. I'm a trained cosmetic gynae surgeon and love treating these category of patients. Now stay connected till the end to gain all the knowledge revolving around this topic. You can also subscribe my channel Close Agani to have regular updates about female reproductive health. Now, from where did this vaginismus originate and what exactly it is? Now James Marion Sim first coined the term vaginismus in 1862 at an address of the Obstetrical Society of London. And it is a condition which causes the muscles around the vagina to tighten involuntarily. This can cause some pain and discomfort. Now, vaginismus can occur whether you have had sex or not. Vaginismus usually occurs when the genital area is touched. This can be before sexual intercourse, before trying to insert the tampon, or during a gynecological examination, for example. Now, vaginismus is thought to be one of the most common female psychosexual dysfunctions, but the exact prevalence rate among the general population is not known. However, in my clinical practice, I'm observing the incidence rates vary from 5 to 10 percent. In fact, I've met so many couples who have opted for IVF for childbirth rather than treating the vaginismus. That clearly shows how unaware we all are by the newer treatment options for vaginismus. Now coming to the causes of vaginismus. Now vaginismus could be a primary one where it has always been there or a secondary one where it occurs after an event such as childbirth. Now there are several possible causes of vaginismus. These include physical and psychological factors such as trauma during childbirth, medical conditions like recurrent UTIs, yeast infections, chronic pain syndromes, endometriosis, or it could be rape, sexual abuse, or assault in the past, a painful examination in the past, an unpleasant sexual intercourse, or fear of penetration or fear of getting even pregnant. Now, how do you classify vaginismus? The Lemon Scale was developed to aid in the diagnosis of vaginismus. It allows a doctor to assess and score the severity of a patient's reaction to a pelvic examination and communicate with other healthcare providers the severity of the disorder and also determine follow-up treatment options. Now, there are five degrees of severity. Now, first degree of vaginismus results in a spasm of the pelvic floor. The patient can be reassured here and can subsequently relax allowing the physician to complete the examination. Second degree vaginismus results in a generalized spasm of the pelvic floor as a steady state despite reassurance. Here, the patient is not able to relax for the examination. Now, the third degree of vaginismus involves a pelvic floor spasm that is sufficiently severe that the patient elevates her buttocks in an attempt to avoid being examined. Four degree vaginismus, this is the most severe form of vaginismus given by Lament. Here, the patient would totally retreat by elevating the buttocks, moving away from the pelvic examination table and tightly closing the thighs to prevent any examination. Now, PASIC described fifth degree vaginismus as a visceral reaction manifested by increased adrenaline output and resulting in increased heart rate, palpitations, hyperventilations, trembling, shaking, vomiting, feeling of fainting, desire to jump off the table and run away or even attack the doctor. Now, these patients usually refuse any kind of examination. Now, coming to the important part, how is vaginismus treated? Now, there are a range of treatment options for vaginismus. Your doctor will usually try to rule out any underlying physical conditions that may contribute to vaginismus. Then comes the role of counseling and therapies to relax the pelvic floor, if it is a mild one. Now, counseling can help you better understand your body. It also helps to work through any psychological issues and helps you to feel more relaxed. Now, for some women, pelvic floor exercises may help. This treatment usually involves learning how to identify and relax your pelvic floor muscles 
using trigger point massage and vaginal trainers or dilators now coming to self care a number of self care techniques can help treat milder forms of vaginal stress you should know your body and you should take out time to yourself to explore your body and what feels good for you now you may want to insert a lubricated tampon use the same method but be calm and relaxed before inserting anything now when you reach a stage where you want to try sexual intercourse take things slowly and don't rush anything now coming to botox for vaginal smooth treatment by now most people are familiar with botox being used to smoothen our fine lines and wrinkles on the face and reverse signs of aging but did you know that botulinum toxin can be used to treat vaginal smooth also Now doctors are using botox to paralyze the muscles that contract in vaginal smiths with promising results. Now this treatment is usually carried out under local or general anesthesia depending on the grade of vaginal smiths. For some patient general anesthesia is the best option because the condition would make it difficult to inject the local anesthesia that is needed. Either way the procedure is usually an outpatient procedure. Now coming to recovery generally speaking it takes patients 4 to 5 days to recover from the procedure and the full effects of botox are realized around 1 week post op now in some cases the injection alone will not be enough to allow for painless penetration here we also use dilators and therapy in order to address the emotional issues that of course can't be treated with the procedure alone I do not prefer using silicone or metallic dilators available in the market. Rather, I have my own way of making softer dilators to minimize pain. Now, how many sessions are needed to see the results? More often than not, just one session is needed for patients to enjoy the full benefits of the procedure. This long-term relief occurs despite the fact that the Botox only lasts three to five months. The initial treatment actually breaks the pain cycle associated with vaginal smooth. Once the patients are able to have painless intercourse or penetration, the body tends to relax the muscles on its own. It is possible, however, to have multiple treatments if results from the first procedure were soft over time. Now, there is 90 to 97 percent success rate for the procedure, and side effects are minimal. As with any procedure, there are small risks associated with anesthesia, and procedure-related risks are potential damage to. Your sphincters, which are usually temporary, and on rare occasions, patients report botulinism-like symptoms, including blurred vision. So, to summarize, vaginism is a painful condition in which a person is unable to tolerate penetration of the vagina and occurs due to tightening of the muscles of the pelvic floor. It is possible to treat and even cure vaginism. So, next time, please do not think of going for IVF. Rather, get this condition treated and enjoy your life ahead. Thanks for hanging on. Do like and subscribe my channel, Kalosa Gaini, for all, for all female reproductive health updates. You can also visit my website, rocketdeepthesaran.com and kalosaastetic.com, and follow me on Instagram. See you soon.